Hi there and welcome to this short video on medical supplies and how to use them in DayZ. We're going to start by looking at consumables and injectables. Charcoal tablets can cure salmonella if you've eaten anything with bloody hands or if you've eaten anything rotten. It also helps against chemical poisoning. Tetracycline goes against cholera, wound infections or the common cold and can be used alongside multivitamins to help boost the effect. Low health, broken leg, fracture, take codeine, it'll stop your character from grunting. Chlorine tablets, great for purifying water so you don't get cholera. Morphine, does exactly what it says in the tin. If you've got low health, you'll no longer shamble. Also, you can't get knocked out by physical effects. Epinephrine's only one really good use is the fact it stops stamina consumption for 60 seconds. You can revive people that are knocked out, but not dead. Pretty useless. Pox antidote, again, does what it says in the tin. Removes gas poisoning, disinfectant spray, cleans household items, cleans wounds, and also removes pests from plants. Alcohol tincture, this can be used on rags to clean them and disinfect them before use, and also can clean wounds to stop infection. Iodine works in pretty much the same way, but can also disinfect sewing kits. Blood test kits allow you to test your blood in case you need to borrow somebody else's when you're low. An icon will show above your little blood symbol to show what type of blood you are. Mix saline with an IV start kit to help blood regeneration. Interesting enough, when these are crafted, they generally are left on the floor, so make sure you don't leave it behind if you're crafting it prior to use. Use a blood collection kit to take your blood out. Combine that with an IV start kit and pop it back in later on when you've lost some blood. Altogether, drugs are quite balanced in Daisy. All of them have their own uses. None of them will get you extremely high and none of them will turn you into a bear killing god. Drugs are very situational. Keep as many as you can on you without taking up too much inventory space. And always remember that they do have a cooldown timer. So for instance, if you're using morphine, you've got 60 seconds to not get knocked out. If you're using epinephrine, then you've got 60 seconds to sprint. If this video is useful, drop it a like and subscribe and stay safe out there.